Hello there and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how we can make our player walk on spherical objects or planets without falling off. It means that gravity will always pull us towards the center of the object and not simply downwards. For this we're going to create an empty scene and we're going to have some kind of sphere that will be the planet. Now if we create our default sphere that we get in Unity and we increase its size we're going to see that it's not a perfect sphere and we get these rigid edges. If you want to have a really smooth sphere, you will have to create it in another program like Blender and import it into Unity. Or maybe you can find some kind of asset in the asset store. I created a smooth sphere in Blender, so I'm going to delete this sphere and I'm going to add the one that I created in Blender. Now I'm going to also make it a bit bigger so the player can walk upon it. Next we're going to create the player, so empty object, we're going to name it player. Inside we're going to create some kind of cylinder that will be the body of the player and we're also going to drag the main camera to be a child of the player and we're going to reset the position. Next we're going to select the player and position it on the surface of the planet. And we may also want to place the camera over here. Next we're going to deal with the gravity. For the gravity I'm going to provide you two different scripts. You can find them in the description of this video. So it's going to be a Unity package and if you don't know how to import Unity packages into Unity, simply right click, import package, custom package and then select the gravity tutorial package. Then it's going to ask you to import both files, import, and when they're done importing, simply drag them on the player. Now if we select our player, we can find both of these scripts over here, and we can also find a rigid body component and a sphere collider, and both of them were automatically added because of the rigid body walker. Now we're going to add the references needed, so inside the planet gravity we need a reference to the planet, so in our case this is the planet object or just a sphere. And inside the rigid body walker we need a reference to the player camera, so it's going to be our main camera. Now we can also make things look a bit better, so for example we can change the skybox, we're going to add some kind of interesting skybox, and we can also add some trees on the planet, so if we go over here we can add some trees, let's make them a bit bigger. And now when we run the game we can see that the player is actually walking on the surface of this planet and we can keep walking around the planet and we're not going to fall off. So we can see that these trees are getting behind the horizon and we keep moving down and we're basically on the other side of the globe and we're not falling down. So if we just keep walking, eventually we're going to make a full circle. A few moments later. And we're finally back here after we circled this entire planet. So everything is working. Now something that you need to take into consideration is that we can only do this with one planet at a time because we need to have a reference to this planet. But that's not a problem. If you have multiple planets and you just want to go from one planet to another, you simply need to change the reference over here. So if you get close enough to a different planet, then you can create some kind of on trigger event and change the reference of the planet. So that's all for this video. Please leave a like if you learned something and enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. So see you next time.